It's what the state's most wanted man spent 16 days trying to avoid. Just minutes ago, Mustafa Baluch landed back in Sydney after being extradited from Queensland. Prime reporter Mark Reddy is at Bankstown Airport. Mark? Well, Jeremy, this is certainly the homecoming Mustafa Baluch had not hoped for, but one police are very happy about. Polair Flight 6 touched down here at Bankstown Airport in Western Sydney about 15 minutes ago and Mustafa Balouche was wearing prison greens in his shackles as he was led off the plane and onto the tarmac behind me. He was then patted down by a number of tactical officers before being driven in a police convoy to Silverwater Prison where he will spend his first night behind bars after that 16-day operation. Organised Crime Commander Robert Critchlow says the state is a much safer place as a result of this operation. Flanked by senior detectives, Mustafa Balouche was dressed in prison greens as he was driven from court to Coolangatta Airport. It was the flight this alleged drug trafficker never wanted or expected to board. There's no opposition to the extradition given the circumstances. Um, the matter will now proceed through New South Wales courts. Um, Mr Bellucci is doing well, he's in good spirits. Wearing no shoes, the fugitive responsible for one of the biggest manhunts in recent history was marched across a tarmac and onto a plane for his long-awaited return to New South Wales. His escape plan sabotaged by a Gold Coast constable who knocked on the door of a shipping container on the back of a truck early yesterday. Mr Belouche knocked back, perhaps thinking it was someone else, but he was wrong. Armed um, police! Armed um, police! Hands up to the car! Hands up to the car! Today, there were more raids at the trucking company business owned by driver John Kitanovsky, who police allege helped with a getaway. And there are questions over why he was arrested in Grafton eight hours after Mr Belouche was found. I'm sure Queensland police uh, did the best that they could, uh, but ultimately what's more important is the outcome. Police intelligence suggests Mustafa Belouche was allegedly planning to sail from far north Queensland to Thailand before boarding a plane to Eastern Europe to connect with underworld friends. But those plans were thwarted and instead the 33-year-old would trade his Northern Beaches mansion for a cell here at Silverwater Prison. When Mr Belouche was granted bail three weeks ago, he was facing charges over the alleged failed importation of $270 million worth of cocaine. Four days later, he allegedly cut off his electronic ankle bracelet and spent 16 days in hiding. Tomorrow, he returns to court where prosecutors will be hoping for a different outcome. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.